You look hot, by the way. And thank not, you. Like, uh, what's uh, what's the temperature up there? Uh, uh, seventy-five. You got confident there for a second, like it's you, not a hundred degrees like it is in Florida. Yeah, it is. It's it's hot as shit. My balls are sweating. My taint sweating. <laughs> Your taint sweating ball My, juice. <laughs> I got that mud butt. Uh, I, I, we see it out here today, but like we've still been getting a lot of off and on rain. We had a lot of rain last night. You know, you know what that? I didn't know. Hold on. Do you know? I know what that actual water is from on your floor. It's that love water from Evie. Ew. No. <laughs> <laughs> and cut to the intro. <laughs> no, we've uh, we've actually still been having a lot of rain. How well, hell, welcome, welcome to the Article 1776 podcast. I am Matthew Kicklighter. This is Scott Still 87. Thank you. Welcome very much. aboard. And go ahead. So with your sorry, go ahead. Sorry. It's, it's so this this flavor is so weird. It's good. Um, but uh. So the other day, while it was raining, we had the landscapers out here. I didn't hire them to work in the rain. It was the landlord. Okay. But uh, so uh, if you were here last week, Warhammer did a small video on the history of tourists and their upcoming, you know, their current reliability standards that they're meeting right now. Uh, <clears throat> you saw a small clip of my, well, the aftermath, actually, a couple hours after it stopped raining and I cleaned up a lot of the water. Our basement is CMU, cinder block, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, we don't know how long the drain extension has been off of the gutter drain, mm-hmm. uh, but it was basically just draining right there into the ground right next to my wall. You know anything about construction, you know anything about CMU, after a while when water pools up in a certain spot in CMU, it will seep through. Uh Well, it has seeped through so much because this house is so old. I've only been here a year. Uh, But water, I guess, used to be an issue and would seep through the walls. And it got worse over the years and generations and all that stuff. So now I'm dealing with the aftermath of that. (laughs) However, we had the landscapers out here. They reinstalled an an entirely new drain extension. So it drains out away from the house and on the drain field into the front where the grate is out by the road. Uh, added more soil to grade out down away from the house and mulch. And they weed it and they made everything nice. I can't hear you. It was great. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said they made everything look nice. So we Are- haven't had any water in the house in the last two days. It's been raining, which is good. Can't say about the electrical room. The only water is coming from the love making. Never mind. Love sandwich. <laughs> Were you going um, to Arby's? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, but I didn't tell you there was water leaking into my water, my electrical panel. Like from the outside there was water leaking into the electrical panel and i had four inches of water in the fucking electrical room over there i'm just gonna do a podcast one day with you just install scuba gear just like here we go <laughs> with five gallon shop back <laughs> scuba gear to five uh, man i'm gonna have to call kevin and see if i can't get some scuba gear off him now so uh we have an interesting topic quite a few interesting topics to talk about today 
Uh, you wanted to say something about the uh, Hunter Biden situation shit. Yeah. yeah. So now let's not disparage or downplay what happened with the Titan submersible. Okay. The Coast Guard already knew the thing was gone. They waited the 40 hours and they did it for a reason. They were told to keep up the charade, if you will, of trying to find the submersible. Navy already picked it up, the implosion, like the sound of the implosion. They have acoustic stuff. While that was happening and while the country was fixated on that and how sad and tragic it really was, and it was, don't get me wrong, it really was. However, partake in that kind of voyage, you should know what you're getting yourself into. While that was happening, Hunter Biden met with federal prosecutors. Now, if you know anything about Hunter Biden, you know his laptop, you know all the shit that's been going on with that, his... His crack habits and his using his dad's influence to gain power and influence and money. That that's a thing, okay? Uh, paying out to Joe Biden, the big man, big guy. Hunter Biden met with federal prosecutors and basically got a plea deal. He got a plea deal of he counted he pled guilty to. Um, a federal weapons violation, which he got a misdemeanor for, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I do know he pled guilty to two misdemeanors of tax, like tax evasion or tax fraud or something like that. Didn't register with the fact that he was a, a foreign agent working on behalf of foreign entities. Um... And still gets to carry a gun, even though he, you know, was being charged with a federal gun crime. Still gets to carry a gun. Got two misdemeanors to tax evasion. Got a slap on the wrist. Now, why do you think he got that? Hypocrites much? Exactly. But why do you think he got that? He got that because of the fucking Biden name. Yeah. Now, his... I walk in history every day, press secretary, John Pete, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to fucking try it. I don't, I don't know her name. I don't care. She was questioned the other day in the newsroom by several reporters why Hunter Biden was at a high notoriety kind of White House function two days after pleading guilt, after making a plea deal with federal prosecutors. You know what she said? She goes, well, he is a family member. It's not uncommon for family members to attend functions at the White House. Other presidents have done it before. I'm sure you've you've done your research with that. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, but no other president's son had got a plea deal from the federal prosecutors. He got it off the Biden name. And I, the, this is what everyone's talking about. It's a two-faced system. It's yeah. a double standard system. Whatever, whatever you're going to get charged for, whatever I'm going to get charged for, they'll never get charged for because they're high in power. They're just the peons. Feudal system at its best. So, do you want to know something about a little bit more about the Biden administration, too? Hit me with it because I hate every fucking person who went to it. So, they're all shady as shit. So, did you know that uh, according to the audits, that was it millions and billions of dollars so much money that was given to uh you you and then crane was only supposed to be half of total what they actually give uh given them are are we not allowed to say uh the slavic bird i don't think so slavic bird you like that yeah crane yeah Vodka is uh, graping you and Crane. The vodka bird. (laughs) (laughs) And then vodka is getting uh, drank up by uh, Wagner. That was crazy. Have you you looked into that whole coup thing? Yeah, so I find it entirely ironic that Biden has given... 
this so much money from our hard-earned money over to what's going on right now and then this whole entire thing with the Wagner Group and Russia is happening. Yeah, I w actually wanted to get your opinion on that. What do you think happened? So. Give them a little background first. A background on what? On what happened with the whole Wagner group. So Wagner is just saying, uh, basically creating this whole civil war type of situation with Putin in a sense that uh, they're like, you know, we own your shit. We got, we got loads and loads of weapons right now. Buck around and find out. So they're basically just going at it with one another, Putin and the Wagner group. Wagner took out 13 Russian soldiers. A couple airplanes and stuff like that. Your audio, but sir. My audio? What about it? You keep it's fine. On, I'm right here. You keep on cutting in and out a little bit. I don't know. That's weird. <clears throat> no, I... Uh, do you think that they could have gotten away with it, though? You think uh, if they had gotten the support that Prigozhin needed from, like... Russian soldiers and Russian citizens, you think they could have overthrown the Russian government? Depends on how much backing that they have and what they know and how trained that they are. I don't know how trained that the Wagner group is, so I'm not going to discredit them. <sighs> I've, I've done a little bit of digging on Wagner, and those motherfuckers, um, there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are convicts, murderers, killers, rapists. Sorry, grapists. Yeah. Um. And there was, a, I think that at one point there was at least twenty five thousand of them, and he went in there with eighty, with eight to eight, eighty five hundred soldiers, uh, twelve, twelve main battle tanks, nine T seventy twos. Uh, they had an air defense system. Couple Tiger armored vehicles, and uh, they took Rostov. Uh, they took the military building at our military headquarters in Rostov, um, which is a strategic point. And they got between, I think, some like 120 miles from Moscow. Uh, and then I guess the Bulgarian, Belarusian president, um, fuck, I can't remember his name. God, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, apparently brokered a deal where the guy from Wagner just is in exile now in Belarus. Uh, which he's probably going to die. Uh, something will happen. He's probably going to get, you know, forever slept. Now, that's just how Russia is, though. Yeah. I don't I don't think Putin was going to let that guy go off that easy. Um, But they say that he stopped because by the time he got to... Moscow, apparently he didn't have the type of support that he was hoping for. And, uh... But there was also reports that, you know, FSB had threatened Wagner commander families and... Gosh, was like, yep! It wasn't a coup, it was a protest. I don't know, God will get killed. I hate to say this, and I know that I'm going to probably catch some flack, but... Basically, what it is is this: is that the meat, all this while that's going on, all the stuff with Wagner Group, everything else, the media put, portrayed more about the submarine issue. It's a sad issue, but they keep on pushing it on and on to cover up for this other shit. It's the media. The Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Yeah. The Supreme Court is again in hot water with you know liberals and Democrats. For getting rid of that, oh God, what was it again? Affirmative action. Something like that. Something like that, or, or some crap, or whatever. Um, and there was a <laughs> there was a Biden staff member who literally tweeted, "A black person in today's society is never going to succeed in a merit-based system. That's why affirmative action programs were were established in the first place." So they said the quiet racist part out loud. The part that we don't acknowledge, they said it out loud. <laughs> 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 Fucking idiots. 
Democrats and liberals do not think black people can survive in a merit-based system. And please, black America, I need you to listen to that because I think anybody can succeed in a merit-based system. You can. I can. Yeah. My kids can. Hard work, dedication, self-accountability, a little bit of fucking tenacity, and have a goddamn backbone. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Uh, We've talked about that before. I've known several great gentlemen of uh, black, like African American skin color that were great dudes, great role models, uh, hardworking people, and deserved to get get where they got because they got themselves there in a hardworking fashion. You know, so it's I like it was an affirmative action. What was that? I guarantee you it wasn't ever affirmative action. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. You wanna hear something really ridiculous? Yes, you were uh ta- you were talking about this the other day. So for those of you that don't know the situation another situation involving Epstein's Kyland And J.P. Morgan. Apparently now there's 47 million deleted emails. So the SEC is now suing J.P. Morgan $4 million because of the 47 million emails that were deleted between them and Epstein's Island. How, so uh, here's a question. How do they know about the emails if they were deleted? Were they actually not deleted? They were just moved to a deleted folder? Yeah, like a trash folder or something like that. Or were they already like... Were they already like in there? I think the the part of me wants to think that they're in there. Part of me wants to say, okay, they're in like a recycle bin and probably some dumbass forgot to delete it. I mean, but like... So that's actually a pretty good theory, but what I want to know is like... Were they already investigating J.P. Morgan? And they knew about the emails, and then they got deleted, and they're like, hey, look, we were already here. What happened to those emails? Like, how do they know that shit? They're deleted. How do they know? Yeah, like, they, here's what, okay, here's what I'll say. J.P. Morgan fined $4 million for deleting 47, uh, 47 million emails, including some requested and subpoenas. The Securities and Exchange Commission fined J.P. Morgan Chase four million dollars for mistakenly dele- mistakenly oh yeah deleting forty seven million emails, many of which of the regulator was trying to access the part of multiple probes. You know. That's just about as much of a smoking gun as Hillary Clinton's email bullshit. Basically, J.P. Morgan looked at Hillary Clinton and said, hold my beer. <laughs> Three million? Yeah. Bitch, those are rookie numbers. Gotta pump that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, what's up? Let's uh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I watched an interview with him and Snoop Dogg. He was like, yeah, they had these, uh, basically these, these fake joints and blunts laid out for me that I was supposed to smoke throughout the day. It was just oregano, pretty much. And uh, Snoop was like, yeah, I don't fuck with that shit. You know Snoop Dogg, he's going to be on set and he's going to be smoking real shit. Mm-hmm. So they're doing a take and they did like 10 takes of them passing this joint back and forth. And uh, Matthew was like, at the end of the last take, I was feeling kind of feel really good. I looked over and Snoop looks at me and he goes, check this out. That wasn't fake weed. That was Snoop weed. (laughs) The entire time, Matthew McConaughey and Snoop Dogg were smoking a fucking joint on set. And I think, I I, want to say he did a lot of scenes in that movie. Can't remember which, it's the one where he's like that surfer bum dude. Mud, I think his name was. My name is Mud. Yeah. I kind of think that's the one where he was. I thought you were thinking, I thought you were going to talk about Air Bud. I'm like, Air Bud did weed. <laughs> Air Bud, Air, Air, Air Bud smokes pot. No wonder pot. why he jumped so high. Get it? Pot. <laughs> pot. That was bad. I know. 
<laughs> I'm a dad. I don't have good jokes. You have a father figure. Well, had one. So, yeah, J.P. Morgan deleted 47 million emails to Epstein Island. Fuck. So, this shit's How crazy. does one even write that many emails? Well, no, to be fair, Evie's probably written that many emails. In one year. That woman is an email. That's all we do, emails. I think I sent, I think I have Thursday, Thursday is my document day. I've got 11 emails to send. And that's just reminding people, hey, send your fucking documents in, please. You're filing for bankruptcy. Get your shit done. Don't lose your house. Don't lose your car. File your fucking paperwork. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. I'm coming for your paperwork. <laughs> but, thankfully, I no longer have to deal with people's paperwork. Oh, that's nice. So Actually, I don't even think I have to do them this Thursday because I'm relinquishing all of my paperwork responsibilities. I'm just strictly the case intake manager. Now. Cool. Do you want to know what... Okay, I'm going to move right along. Do you know what, uh, speaking about papers, votes, did you hear what happened about the pistol brace ban? Got shot down. Yeah. And I'm going to put the names of the two motherfuckers that uh, are on here, too, and their pictures. Do you know the two? So, basically... Representative Thomas Keene Jr. of New Jersey and Brian Fitzpatrick of PA voted against removing the pistol brace ban. Well, I could see that Pennsylvania would do it. Now, Pennsylvania has always been one of the patron states of shooting shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I think Pennsylvania's middle name is Gun. (laughs) (laughs) But Um, they, 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 no, they actually, they were for the pistol brace ban. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Well, because nowadays they've they become democratic, liberal, whatever. I don't pay attention. I just know Fetterman's an idiot. Um, <clears throat> it, it's it's striking that they would vote for you know against you know or for the pistol brace ban. I'll say this, but I'm under the impression the pistol brace ban was shot down by the Supreme Court, so like it doesn't matter anymore anyway. Well, here's the thing: I'm sick and tired of Republicans, so-called Republicans, trying to pr- proclaim, "Oh, we're pro-gun." When you got Thomas Keene Jr. of New Jersey and Brian Fitzpatrick of PA voting for the pistol brace ban, both Republicans, right? Yeah. Keen, you ain't getting my vote this next time around, buddy. I didn't vote for you this time anyway, so don't worry. I'm going to put that in a YouTube short. But that I didn't vote for him? Uh, that you're not going to vote for him. I'm not going to vote for him. For those of you that do not know, I'll educate you as to why the pistol brace is there anyways. Two way all day, baby. For... Disabled American veterans that have a missing limb and can't defend themselves because they don't have like a arm or anything else like that to stabilize their pew pew. Fake news, fake news. No, it's not. It's to change the caliber of the weapon. It makes my AR-15 a 50 caliber Barrett. You mean a Barrett 50 cal? Yeah, but do you see how stupid that sounded? Yeah. A brace, yeah, made my weapon an entirely different caliber rifle. Come on, Joe. Come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta unite the thing, you know, with the with leg hairs and kids like to touch them under the water. What you once you what you uh, feed a man a fish? Uh, you smell good. <laughs> once you feed a man a fish. You know, uh, Teach a man the thing. Fish a day, the thing. You like the thing, man. Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was me on a bike. <laughs> so I was oh, speaking about punishment. So one of the highest uh, 
How did you get that? <laughs> so one of the high, so one of the highest retained portions of the last week's gun facts video was you having water on the floor. Yeah, people like to see my stuff. We had I over a hundred and eighty percent retain uh, retention for that. What happened to his floor? Uh, to be fair, you uh, that was after. So in here didn't get as bad as in like the utility. That was room. after she squirted. <laughs> There's only so many times a man can be called fire hose before he snaps. <laughs> like I hit puberty in the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, so like I'd already had like my my the homeowner was here, like the guy I rent from, he was already here. Uh, he had brought a couple fans, a couple of those big like whistle shop fans, the whistle shaped shop fans. So I had those going in my office for like four days. Uh, for I think two days, I was shop vacuuming water out of the house. Uh, five gallons of water is heavy. <laughs> And I gotta carry it upstairs. I can see you try to do the I don't do the fuck curls. with those, because I don't. I don't fuck with those Bilco, Bilco doors. After those cave crickets, after my cave cricket issue, I don't fuck with that. I ain't, I ain't trying to eat another one. Yeah. I don't know. After last week's gun uh, history, gun facts, made me kind of think maybe I should get more Glocks instead of Tauruses. Why don't you just sell your Tauruses? The fuck no. Yeah, why? You got a Glock. Because a man doesn't sell his guns. Uh, yeah, you, you sell your guns and you buy more guns. What if that? What if that? If, if, I wonder. What, what don't if, tell me there's. Don't tell me there's not logic in that. I don't want to hear. Well, it. there's probably, but now that I think about it, do you think that Matt Character Demo Ranch does that? To make up more to space. Be, to be fair, character has more money than we do. Yeah, but to be fair, there's only a certain amount of room that you could have in the gun safe in order to... Yeah, but you could always get more places to put more gun safes. We don't have that luxury just yet. I say... I'm still funding for the tank, man. <laughs> well, they, hey... There you go. Sell your Tauruses and put it towards the tank. I don't know. Uh, sell your Tauruses and buy like a Gucci Glock or something. Buy you like a cop Glock. I thought you just said cock block. Buy yourself a cock block. Fuck. <laughs> Gen 17. <laughs> it's called marriage. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I'm not, I, look, look. No, I want to dispel... I want to disparage that rumor real quick. Okay, I am a month away, literally a month away from getting married. There is no cock blockage. Well, it does not go downhill. Anyways, it does uh, not stop. About I'm about a month and seven days away. If you want to be technical, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Let's not nitpick. A mammal's a mammal. <laughs> I'm a bird. I identify as a bird. Look, if Wait. mammals have hair and produce milk, what's a coconut? I don't know. <laughs> what? Should it, I? It, it, it's a mammal. It makes milk and it has hair. We are basically just evolved from coconuts. <laughs> you want to hear a sentiment that might... Turn your day sour. Oh, don't do it. What is it? We're just semen that are bound to forever sleep later on years down the road. Ah. We won. Oh. We ran. We won the race for a prolonged death, pretty much. <laughs> That that uh, Ryan Reynolds pool is slowly going up. Oh my god! <sighs> uh, <laughs> we just went dark. 
That was dark. I had a joke, and like now it com- it's completely dwarfed by that. It was just one. Right. <clears throat> Here's a joke. I read it today. It's really good. And you don't really find many good jokes on Twitter, but this one was good. There's a bar in town who's there's a bar owner in town who swear he has the strongest bartender in the world. Uh, so he creates a, a standing thousand dollar cash bet. You can if you can squeeze a drop of lime or lemon juice out of the lemon after he squeezes it into a glass, you win a thousand dollars. Lumberjacks, weightlifters, shoremen, everybody comes and tries. Nobody can get any more lemon out of this out of this lemon or lemon juice out of this lemon. One day, a scrawny little dude with glasses and a squeaky voice comes in and says, "I'd like to try the bet." After everyone's done laughing, the bartender goes, "All right," takes the lemon, squeezes the shit out of it, and hands the the squeezed out Ryan to the guy. The guy wraps his fist around it and squeezes six more drops into the glass. After everyone's cheering in astonishment, the bartender's paying him out and goes, holy shit, man, what do you do? Are you a lumberjack, a weightlifter? What do you do? He goes, I work for the IRS. (laughs) Tap every little bit out of yourself. IRS will get every little bit of blood out of that stone. (laughs) (sighs) I I thought it was about that. I'm taking a shit and about fell off. (laughs) The IRS will squeeze your cheeks bone dry. Yeah. About as much as the ATF. So it's... I don't know. I I think it's weird. Like, this whole entire fucking shit's going on. And, like, everyone... They're they're promoting more and more of the... The... What happened, the incident in the ocean. It's a sad, sad thing, but... Yeah, there's so much shit that... You're telling me something that you're telling me something that I already knew not to trust anything that had three letter words into it. ATF, CIA, FBI. The only three letter word came to mind. Sex. Anyway, you you spaced out. Hard. All right, we're done with this. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Put on Kenny Loggins. I'm in the danger zone. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, yeah, there's so much other shit going on that the media is going to try to confuse you. Like I said in the very beginning, don't disparage what happened to the Titan submersible. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can make all the dirt. You can make all the dark jokes you want about it. It's still something that sucks. However, it got overplayed because of all the other shit that was happening. You've got Wagner trying to invade Moscow because Moscow is starving the troops of ammunition and supplies and then dropped missiles on top of them. That's what gave Prigozhnev the ammunition to basically kind of start this little thing. But you didn't really hear much about that. Uh, Hunter Biden took a plea deal for some bullshit. You didn't hear much about that. The only reason he got that is because of his last name. and I don't care what anybody says. Uh, you got the J.P. Morgan emails that got released between uh, that and, you know, Pleasure Island. Uh, there was another one I saw today. It was Epstein's face on a meme. It was like, I don't always kill myself, but when I do, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, looking at you, so, Hillary. Right. I said something on Six Days in Fallujah. I was like, yo... I feel like Hillary Clinton with all these killers surrounding me. <laughs> Yo, no, no lie. <laughs> Do you want to know? I uh, there's a list of names that Hillary had uh, ran up against to have ironically died. Oh yeah. <laughs> like here, I'll I'll see if let me see if I can look up the names really quick. Don't think I don't hear you back there, Jerry. Stop fucking around. Who the fuck is oh. Jerry? A mouse that lives in my office. You should get that place checked out, sir. I, dude, I live in the country. Mice are a thing. Okay, still you should get that shit checked out, sir. I 
Cats take care of them. I think Breeze caught four now in the last year. Nice. No one's ever taught her how to hunt mice. She's just a cat. She just does what cats do. So, All I can hear is that somewhere. Double chime or something. There's a supposedly like a list of people that she ran up against. That. Let me see the images. See if it comes up. But supposedly there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen if you count Bill. Because the, their sex life, their 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 marriage life is dead. But no, there's about twelve political opponents that have within a, a period of time died in one form of another while running up against Hillary Clinton. And or if so, you had too much dirt on her and you worked for her, did she lose like, so like 13 some odd AIDS? Yeah, so it's like I'm trying to find out the names here. <clears throat> Lock her up. Lock her up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's like lab grown meat gets FDA approval. That's gross. Thanks, Ed. I'm, I'm trying to figure I'm trying to get the names right here. Thank you very much, Mr. Roboto. Wow, I'm trying to look up so, like look up the names and websites such as like wikipedia already trying to disclaim it <laughs> so here's one it's called who shot you the body count bo the clinton body count list I'm trying to look up the names But there is supposedly like a huge name of like quite a few political opponents that have ironically passed away during uh, their run up against Hillary Clinton. Football sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if something happens to me. You know where to start. Yeah. Although then I'll probably end up missing too. We know you. We know what you do. We know that we know the dirty things. We know what you do. Yeah. So look, look that up, you guys. And I'm not. I'm not telling any lies there. There was a. So. I, the closer and closer it gets, I'm. I'm. I'm more excited for Starfield to come out. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Starfield's gonna be fucking lit. I'm hoping that some of it is PvP. Uh, you know, I don't know. That's uh, something that you would think I would know, but I actually do not know. Um, I can't wait for Six Days in Fallujah to come out on Xbox. Sadly, it's not coming out till 2024. 2024? For Xbox, yeah. Which huh. sucks, but like I said... Uh, the couple, I, I think I said in the last podcast, it's still an early release game, so there's still bugs. There's still stuff that they're patching up and working out. Like, I think they've already been through three different patches in the last week or two. Um, well, before you go any further, 
Did you hear what happened? About six days in Fallujah. No. So apparently there are already some people that are out there that are offended by six, day, six days of Fallujah saying that it's offensive for the people <laughs> to, to promote it because it's offend, it, it would offend people that have lived through it. First of all, these are the Marines that want their story told. Exactly. They worked yeah. with the people who worked on the game. Yeah. These are Marines that want their story told, and not everything is, is considered offensive nowadays. These are stories that are told with a fucking purpose. Right? That game is so intense. It's not lifelike, obviously, but it's intense. The things that happen in that game, like you gain a whole new respect for the Marines who are over there. I walked out of a house that we thought was cleared. Me and my little squad had cleared this big ass compound. I walked out the front door to help with security. My screen instantly went blue. Not a blue screen of death, but that's the screen that it gives you when you forever sleep in the game. I walked out of the doorway and off to the right. Bat. Totally unexpected. And it was like, shit, that's exactly the same kind of shit that can happen over there. It gives you a better fucking perspective of, like, the stress a Marine goes through without, like, physically putting you there. Want to know something? Because it's stressful. Yeah, it's. you want to know something that I've learned, especially during my time in the uh, military? There was a thing. There was a, I don't know if you want to call it a conspiracy theory or whatever you want to call it, but it's, it certainly has logic to it. Do I need my tinfoil hat? No. So there was, for a certain period of time, you were told not, if you smoke a cigarette, don't have a white lighter because then that would give away a certain position because the sun reflects off the off of white and the the loom from the sun could make you more open and available especially in your like a patrol or something if you're Crazy. you know i knew uh not to have any like chrome on a lighter yeah i was told it's hard, but it's hard not to find a lighter with something yeah, I was told not to ha bring a white lighter. Make sure, yeah, make sure it is like a blue color or something. Shine, but like even that's shiny, as you can see. So, I don't know. That depends. You know what else is shiny? Our love for freedom. Absolutely, we got some shiny new shirts coming out too, and and I may have something in the works to caress. Your gonads. <laughs> Working on a pair of boxers. I was our seventeen seventy six boxer shorts. I was kind of not sure with this train the where we're gonna be going. Like, was it gonna be my hand or nothing? I'm not gonna be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like which way are we driving this car? <laughs> well, if it's on a train, you don't drive it. You just push the buttons and go. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm working on a all. I'm working on a couple pairs of all over print boxers for our uh, our our gentle fellas, our friends out there. Not our gentle fellas. Yeah, we'll say this. We'll Still. say uh, instead of saying juicy and the ass end, it will say freedom. You get a nice freedom ass to it. Actually, uh, I have a shirt that's getting ready to come out, and I'm working on the boxers to go with it right now. But it works. Please don't let it say juicy in the back. <laughs> well, you gotta fucking tell people. God damn it, man. I can't. Have... You're the reason we can't ever have anything nice. 
Uh, I'll take the blame. I'll just sit in my corner. And... <laughs> Eat your crayons. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Speaking of crayons, I got crayons. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Article 1776. Go check us out. Article 1776.com. Pick up a t-shirt. There's a whole shitload of codes you can use for 10% off. Uh, we've got new things coming out. Obviously, new things in the pipeline. No pun intended. Unless you need it. <laughs> By the way, uh, I want to say thank you to everyone to let you all know we are now partnered on YouTube. Thank you so much. So like, comment, and subscribe. Whatever that you like to see, especially if you want to see more gun facts from either one of us. It doesn't have to be just me this time. But do it on Diamondback. I can do it on Glock. I can do it on Winchester. Facts. Gun facts. So I want to say thank you all so, so much. Uh, Scott Still, give me your socials, please. Scott Still 87, uh, except for on Instagram, Scott Still underscore 87. I did actually realize the other day that it was spelt wrong, so now it is spelt correctly. After all this time, you finally... Well, there was an issue getting my uh, stream deck to load up with my Instagram. It's called your phone. You can do it from your phone. Yeah, but I actually have it on my desktop now. So you can still do it on your phone. Yeah, I know that, but on here, I'm... Code word, I am lazy. With... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, on Instagram, I'm kind of starting to fuck with, like, editing small, like, clips. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm branching out. I'm trying to, and you're fucking chastising me. Go suck a dick. <laughs> I'll, I'll, look, where's my bag full of Richards at? No, of Richard. I am Matthew Kicklighter. Uh, you can find me on Twitch as MK Warhammer zero three one one Kicklighter Matthew one nine eight eight on Instagram, and you can find our company on Instagram Article seventeen seventy six Clothing. Want to say thank you all so so much for everything we love y'all and scottsdale give him the dad joke of the day uh horses i think i already said that um envelopes are just paper that you put paper in and seal with your spit love you guys freedom of the fuck on happy fourth of july happy fourth of july go get drunk but be safe about it <laughs> careful with the fireworks